That would be kind of Hi there. Hi. Hello, Michael. What's up? What's new? Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. What's new with you? Oh, today is not much. <laughs> not much? Okay, I see. Zero. I see. Good. Um, what are you planning to do the week this weekend? This weekend, uh, <laughs> I plan to start uh, learning French on your lesson. <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, before, that, before that, I try Hi to. I, uh, I try to. Uh, oh, but I'm sorry. Uh, I try to um, uh, maybe uh, learn a French alphabet. <laughs> before this lesson. Well, I'm not gonna start with the French alphabet. I will something different anyway. Yeah, okay, so uh, you will start a class of French this Sunday. What about Saturday? Are you going to do anything on Saturday? Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I go to, to the river. I'm sorry, maybe what? Uh, maybe I go uh, going to, to swim, uh, I will go to swim uh, mm -hmm. on the river. I see, okay. Good. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I can see some new students, and I can hear some. Hello. Sounds. Hello, Alexander. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm uh, fine too. Thank you. Well, what's new with you? What's the noise? I know. <laughs> it's good. There is kind of noise. Uh, so, Valentino. Uh, uh, helicopter near yeah. <laughs> yeah, the... I guess someone has just uh, come back from work uh, oh. on a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> so Alexander, uh, what's new with you? Uh, not much. As you know. What are you doing for this weekend? Zamir, what's your Sorry? Ah, totally. Yeah, and, and another another person is uh, trying to clean the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I see. Uh, so, Alexander, have you got any plans for this weekend? For weekend? Yeah. Uh, yes, I want to go uh, to some place. You can I go somewhere? Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, the question is, where are you going to go? I'm going to the beach. The beach, okay. You're gonna have some fun on the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, hello uh, everyone. Well, I can see new students, uh, Zamir and Valentina. Uh, I don't remember if I saw you before. Valentina, I guess I did. What about Zim Zim Zamir? Isn't anymore here. So, and uh, Dmitri, what's up? What's new with you? Nothing new, actually. I uh, fail. Sorry? Um, nothing new. Nothing new. Everything uh, like usual. Routine and uh, nothing special. Nothing special. I see. Uh, what about your plans for this weekend? Mm, actually, I don't have any plans. I think everything will be okay um, accidentally. <laughs> okay, you'll do something uh, the very day, yeah? Yeah. I see. Good. Anastasia, hello to you. What's up? <laughs> Anastasia has a interesting voice. I said helium. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, there was a kind of a mouse saying something. The sound is weird. Are you a mouse today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm laughing, but it's really very funny. It's hilarious. Um, the nice way stop eat helium. <laughs> uh, nice you well, the sound <laughs> There is a problem with your microphone, I, I think, because you cannot uh, hear you well. Fix it, please. And um, I hope we will hear the real nasty, not the mouse <laughs> saying something. <laughs> Okay, good. And uh, Valentina, what about you? Uh, how are you feeling? 
Uh, hello, I'm well today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so it's really just uh, uh, if there is much, uh, there is more light in your room than last time, and you were in the darkness. But what's the what's wrong with your microphone? There is always this kind of noise. I I I, I don't ask you to uh, I don't know to fix it. Uh, they not to have this. I'm possible? sorry, I heard very about you. I'm sorry? I heard very about you. I heard, heard very bad about me? You, yes, I don't, I don't hear you. You cannot hear me well? Yes. Well, I don't know. Uh, and what about Aris? Can you hear me well? Guys, can you hear me well? I hear, I hear you well. Okay. Uh, I hear a voice uh, when Valentina turn on uh, turn on the microphone and uh, when. Okay, you can hear me when there is no this noise. Well, uh, but I guess the problem is with the microphone in the computer. So I would ask you. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, hello, Duba. Hello to you. What's up? Uh, hello. Uh, nothing much. Thank you. What are your plans for this weekend? I'm asking this question to everyone. What are you planning to do this weekend? Um, so actually we are going, uh, I mean me and my family, uh, we want to meet our friends. Okay. And uh, we are going to a restaurant, and like open air restaurant mm -hmm. is, like, outside our city, but I know it's very, really great with the live music, and I hope we will spend our time great. Okay, I hope you that. I hope, uh, and I'm sure you will. Uh, so that is great to uh, spend some time with those you love, with the family. So you have you follow the advice uh, from our lesson dedicated to family. Yeah. <laughs> remember we. Uh -huh. Sorry, sir. Do you remember we had a class dedicated to family? And those we love. So I say that uh, you you have decided to follow my piece of advice to spend more time with the family. Yeah. Yes, I think it's a good advice, one one good. That's it. Okay, good guys. So today we're gonna talk about um, about uh, success and about uh, uh, the fact that we shouldn't give up when we fail for the first time. So um, that will be the topic of our conversation. And the first thing I'd like to ask you is to give me the definition of the word success. So how could you, uh, how could you explain it? What's, what's that success in your opinion? Oh, mm -hmm. So I um, would like to, to start. Um, Alexander, will you be so kind to explain me what success is? Uh, success is... Uh, um, it, it's luck. It's luck, uh, okay. Let it be. So just uh, try, let, let's do the following way. Everyone try to give one word. That was a nice idea. So success. Luck. Uh, what, what else? Aluba. Happiness. Luck. Happiness. Okay, you? Okay, we'll put it down. Luck. Just one moment, please. Uh, just not to repeat. Luck. Happiness. What else? Uh, maybe success. Uh, it's. Um... One word. One word. <laughs> so the first one was luck, the next one was success. What else? Uh, result. Result. Okay, result. Uh, Anastasia, are you with us? Yes. <laughs> and we're still a mouse? Okay, yeah, now I can hear because before there was a kind of a mouse uh, voice. <laughs> Oh. Funny. Right. I couldn't uh, help laughing. Uh, so, Anastasia, we, uh, we are discussing success. So, give you me one word which will define, which will explain a little bit the word. So, hmm. our happiness results, in your opinion. Hmm. I don't even know how to say it in one word. Try, you can do it, I'm sure. You're a smart girl. <laughs> Thank you. Um, may I think? Okay, <laughs> so uh, Althea, by the way, hello to you. Hello. How are you feeling today? Yeah, yeah. Are you feeling great? Uh, so, sorry? Are you feeling great, inspired? Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. So will you be kind to give me one word, uh, kind of a definition of the word success? We've got luck, happiness, result. What about your word? 
Just one word. Okay, yeah? Uh, uh, Goldness, maybe. I'm sorry? Knowledge. Goldness? Go. No. Could you type it, please? I cannot hear very well. Glory, knowledge, what was the word? Uh, uh, to reach uh, goals. Ah, you mean go. Yes. Uh, go. Uh, yes. I mean just one word. And say go. Yes. Do we have uh, yes. such words as goalness? Yes? Goalness. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, goal, okay, let it be goal. Okay, something related to goal. Valentina, your word. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain it in a Latin word. Try to do that. Just one word uh, to explain the word success. Come on. <coughs> All words uh, have been. Uh, have been magic. Magic. No, there are a lot of many other words. Okay, I will give you some time. We'll be back. Uh, there are two, I guess, uh, this year now we've got Valentina. Uh, okay, Dimitri, what about you? Your, your word? I think it is must be hard work. Hard work, okay. Well, two words, but let it be. Hard work, success, it is related to hard work. With with no hard work, no success. Okay, Anastasia, are you ready with your word? Oh, yeah, I think it's related with achievement or progress. Uh, related to achievement. Well, that is actually uh, something uh, very close to goal, achievement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so, who is uh, there? Okay, and uh, uh, Valentina, so we are waiting for your word. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Who can help of Valentina to find a word? And this vacuum cleaner sounds. <laughs> Uh, money? Who said money? Mikhail, we cannot hear you. Uh, You're saying something? I see it uh, in this world, uh, maybe like a help to my own I'm sorry, you didn't get? Uh, uh, one second. Uh, uh, I say th this uh, world, money like uh, uh, helpful, Valentin. Helpful? Could you type it, please? Because I cannot get, and it's kind of... Okay, maybe uh, just money. The money. Most. Success equal money. Yeah. Hmm. Really interesting. Well, maybe. Let it be. Um, maybe victory. Victory. Mm, victory, success, why not? Yeah, I guess victory is a good word to be related with success. Okay, so we've got several words like luck, happiness, result, go, hard work, achievement, money, and victory. Nice. Good. And uh, so success is a noun, you know, a noun. Uh, what is the adjective coming from success? Successful. Successful. Okay, so the noun it is success. Let me put it down once again. So success, there is a noun. Um, successful, that will be adjective. Good. And uh, where is the verb, uh, Ruba? What is the verb? Um, succeed, maybe. That's right. There is to succeed. There is a verb. Okay, so I put to succeed. There is a verb. And, uh, well, now let's try to find uh, mm, the opposites to each of the words. Success, successful, and to succeed. So, the opposite of success, Mitri, will be? Hmm. What I think. The opposite, the antonym. Uh, no idea. Fail. I'm sorry? Fail. 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 Mm -hmm. Mikhail, I cannot see you. Could you repeat, please? Uh, uh, maybe fail. Fa we are talking about a noun first. A oh, noun. Okay. Success and you, you have to defeat. Right. Maybe defeat? Defeat. Uh, yes, possible. Uh, defeat. Uh, and another, another word. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. Put it down first. The first defeat, uh, and the synonym will be. It's 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 a, well. Mikhail works on the right way. He said to fail, but the maybe noun, failure. Failure. That's it. Okay. Uh, so uh, where is the 
opposite to the word successful, Alexander, the adjective. The opposite of the adjective successful. Failful. No. Failful, uh, nope. <laughs> Maybe unsuccessful. That's right, but it's not unsuccessful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put it down. Unsuccessful. Okay, unsuccessful. Don't just what they unsuccessful. Where is the mistake? I guess I have put everything all right. Unsuccessful. Okay. And where is the uh, the, the 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 opposite of the word? Fail. Sorry. Fail. To fail. That's right. That's right. Okay. Just to, just a second, please. I'll just to check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, the first uh, the adjective unsuccessful. And uh, to the verb uh, succeed. That's words, the right uh, word, succeed. Good. Okay, so these are uh, three words, uh, actually six words that we're going to talk about today. Uh, I will send you now a link. You'll get their document. Just a second, please. Mm -hmm. English groups never give up. Have, I, have you ever tried anything um, that you failed, that you never could succeed, guys? Have you ever tried anything like that? Um, Dmitri. Have you ever tried anything that you didn't succeed at the end and you gave up? No, no. Uh... Never. I never, I never had this experience. Mm -mm. I have never had such an experience. Such experience yeah. I see. Okay. So when you have a kind of a goal, you always do your best to achieve it. I try to like uh, choose a uh, goal and uh, understand and try to understand so uh, what of a goal I can uh, um, achieve or uh, or. I cannot do it. I see. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um, Anastasia, what about you? Have you ever tried anything that you finally gave up? <laughs> yes, I tried to run in the morning, <laughs> but I failed. What? To run in, the, in every morning, I just wake up and trying to run, but <laughs> I failed in this. Okay, but uh, you are still trying? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, that's a good uh, sign. So you 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 never give give up. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> Althea, what about you? Have you ever tried anything that you finally gave up and said, "No, that's enough. No more. I'm fed up." Uh, I don't remember that. Uh, uh, I I think I have. I haven't. This kind of experience, yes. Okay. I haven't got such an experience. I see. And what about you, Duba? I'm sure that um, there has been something. Sorry? Uh, you are sure that there is there has been something like that? Uh, yes, yes, but um, I cannot remember so good. Maybe maybe I had once tried to learn Chinese. Chinese? But I, really? Yes, <laughs> but I yes I. What can you say? Hmm? What can you say in Chinese? Ni hao, only ni hao. <laughs> I guess so. there is something that everyone knows. I see. Okay, good. Uh, so you started learning Chinese and then you gave up. Said no, that's too complicated. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. And what about you, Alexander? Oh, I, I don't remember, but I think uh, I have had this experience. Mm -hmm. So everyone doesn't rem just uh, almost everyone doesn't remember such an experience. Maybe there really there has been something, but I don't remember. Try to concentrate and remember of those this experience. That will be interesting to share, huh? So Alexander, don't you really remember? Uh, I could uh, say a joke. <laughs> a joke? Come on, do it. Uh, when, I was, when I was younger, uh, I tried to be alcoholic, but tried to be alcoholic. Interesting. That was your decision. 
but, but I gave up. <laughs> See, your joke is uh, hilarious because everyone's laughing. But this very interesting word combination. I tried to be alcoholic, so there was your decision. Dream. <laughs> Go, a dream, yeah. It was interesting in this age. In yes. When when we, we when we were teenagers. Mm, uh, I see. So when when in, when a teenager that's kinda interesting. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your joke. Uh, Valentina, what about you? Have you ever tried anything that finally you gave up? Uh, no, I have never given up, uh, but uh, uh, sometimes I uh, can't reach a good result, a result in the first uh, time, the first time, and uh, but I uh, had uh, several attempts and uh, I uh, succeeded last. Okay, finally you succeed, so you never give up, if you have a goal, you do your best, even if you fail, even if you fail for the first time. You never give up. You go on and continue until the until you reach the victory. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Okay. Good for you. Great. So, uh, uh, have you got the file downloaded? Uh, the link of which I sent to you. Have you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so now uh, the first part, uh, the first part of our uh, tasks, uh, that is uh, dedicated to reading. We will read a small text and our task will be uh, to uh, fill the gaps with words given, actually with sentences. So read the article about people who have tried but failed at the end uh, to learn something and complete the text with these phrases. We've got uh, from A to G sentences. Let's first read the sentences. Um, uh, Luba, will you uh, begin please? A. Uh, I've never been able to say. Okay. B. Alexander. I was able to run. Good. Three, Anastasia. Oh, you'll never be able to speak. Okay, Mikhail. I just wasn't able to do it. To do it, okay. Uh, I hate, I hate uh, not being able to communicate. Okay, Martina. I would suddenly be able to do it. And the last one, uh, All my friends are uh, able to do it. Are able to do so to be able to do something. Uh, you know what it means to be able to do something. I am able to understand you. I am able to learn something. How could you uh, say it another way? I can. I can. That's right. So to be able to do something is the same way as to say I can do something. So uh, all the sentences are clear, aren't they? The sentence we have read. Yes, yes. No questions. Yes. Okay. So now let's read the first uh, paragraph, the first text about about uh, the first person uh, who tried to learn something and failed at the end, and try to choose the right sentence and put it in the in, uh, in the gap. So let's get started. The first uh, paragraph. Dmitri, will you be so kind to start, please? Uh, Pass my driving test. Yeah, this text. Yeah, I started having driving lessons. Uh, I started having driving less, uh, lessons when I was uh, 19. Although I'm normally a quick learner. Uh, learner. Learner, that's it. Um, well, I'm normally a quick learner. And here, the first gap we have to to fill in. So, what do you think is the right sentence to be put here? Um, maybe. Um, I don't know. So here uh, he, he said, uh, I started, there is a guy, oh no, there's a girl, Imonda. I started having driving lessons when I was 17. Maybe B, I was able to learn. Uh, but not very logical. Although I'm normally a quick learner, I was able to learn. Yeah, there must be kind of a position. No? Uh, maybe. I just wasn't able to do it. Was uh, I were uh, I was wasn't just I just wasn't able to do it. That's it. That's the okay. So uh, older person is a quick learner usually. Well, but uh, driving lessons were so difficult, and the person just wasn't able to do it. Oh, I missed the word normally. <laughs> okay. Okay. You see. Yeah. Uh, uh, we will continue, please. So after it. Yeah. 
After 19 months, I failed my first test. I was uh, already disappointed. Uh, really disappointed. Since then, uh, well, I have taken the test again three times, but I have always failed. Usually on uh, reversal mm -hmm. uh, or parking. parking. That'll do, that'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Um, Alexander, will you continue, please? Uh, the problem is I get so nervous during the tests that I can't drive property properly. Mm -hmm. It's so um, embarrassing to admit that I can't learn to do something that... Mm -hmm. that and you go the second gap. <coughs> what do you think, Alexander? That... Uh, that I was able to learn. But it's so embarrassing to me that I can't learn to do something that... What was your variant? No. That all my friends are able to do. That all my friends are able to do. Why not? Possible. And does anyone have any other ideas? Luba, what about you? Do you agree with... Yeah, or Alexander, what's your what was your uh, variant? You said something, but I uh, haven't heard. No variant. So uh, who agrees with who doesn't agree with Nastya? Well, the variant uh, was all my friends are able to do. <laughs> is it okay here or not? It is. No? Yes, okay. I think it is. It's okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's correct. I good. No, no? Alexander? I agree with variant G. You agree with variant uh, G? Okay, all my friends are able to do. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. Thank you. Let's continue. Uh, Luba, will you stop, please? The, first, the second one. Learn to dance. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be able to dance um, salsa. And when I was um, working in uh, Ecuador, there were free um, classes, so I joined. But the art of salsa is not is to keep your arms still and move your hips. And I just couldn't do it. When I hear music, my arms start moving, but my <laughs> hips don't. After about ten hours of classes. Of classes, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I was able to learn. I was able to learn, that's right. To learn the steps, but I was dancing like a robot. That's it, okay, thank you, Luba. Okay, good, so let's continue. Um, uh, Althea, will you be so kind to continue, please? Uh, just a moment. I was just from this one. Um, I was the robot. It was a robot. Oh, well. I didn't. I didn't give up. But uh, soon, everything in the class was everyone. Everyone. Dancing. Everyone. Everyone in the class was dancing, and I was just slowly moving from side to side. And uh, I can't see. Count. Count. You, you could enlarge uh, your word document uh, to be able to read it um, and be more confident. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I was uh, slowly moving from side to side and counting out. Counting out, load one, two, three, four. One, I was sure. Th one, two, three. Yeah, they know that people count when dancing. Mm -hmm. I was. I was sure that one day. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, one day, <laughs> I was able to learn. No. No, one day uh, there is not. A, it's about future, maybe. You know. I would certainly be able to do it. That's it, Valentina. Thank you. I guess so too, because it's about future. And uh, uh, one day, you know, so at first the person didn't succeed, but then the person says, so one day I would be able to do it. But, Althea, you continue, please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But I would certainly be able to do it. That's it, that's it, that's the variant. So I would certainly be able to do it and then uh, the, the, the sweet. Continuation, please. Next sentence, but? 
But that never happened. <laughs> but that never happened. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, the last passage of this uh, text, uh, Valentina, would you read, would you kind to read it, to finish it? Valentina? One moment. Uh, so, uh, but that never happened. And the last uh, passage. <coughs> Uh, I have start. I have started learning English. No, no, no. The last passage of the second text. I can. Ah. Second text was. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I, I can still remember. Yeah, that's it. I, I can still remember the first two steps. So and I still try to dance when I hear a salsa tune. As long as nobody is watching. As long as nobody is watching. Yeah, that's kind of hilarious uh, story, isn't it? About a person who tried to dance and then failed. However, the person didn't give up because the person keeps on dancing just when nobody thinks um, it is a guy, yeah? Him, I guess. Yeah, John from Oxford. Okay, and the last text <coughs> foreign language, something that is close to everyone, I guess, <coughs> because uh, learning foreign language is not that easy, as someone could say. However, it's interesting and it's awesome. So, Anastasia, will you be so kind to stop this? Okay. Uh, I've studied learning English at least 10 times. I've been to classes, I've had a private teacher, but used a self-study course, but I've never been able to say anything in English. Uh, I even had an English girlfriend once, uh, but I learned Spanish before I managed to improve my English. So we always spoke in Spanish. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That'll do. That's great. Uh, here. <laughs> Mm, uh, well, the first uh, sentence, I started learning English at least 10 times, been to classes, had a private teacher, used a self-study course, and so on. Is that about you, Anastasia? No. No. No, it's not. I just learned it quickly. I think it's mine. <laughs> I don't know. Cup of tea. I really love it. It's, uh, it's my cup of tea. Um, yeah. <laughs> I see. Right. Oh. When did you start learning English? Mm, when I was... Twelve, I think. I'm sorry. I think when I was twelve, my no, I'm. Okay, when you were twelve, I see. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, let's continue um, the next passage. Um, Mikhail, will you be so kind to continue, please? Are you? I, I lose the sentence. Well, there is the third text. Uh, speak a foreign language, and we have stopped at. Um, it was. Uh, so we always spoke in Spanish. Uh, okay. I travel. Uh, I travel. Uh, 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 Spanish. Spanish. Spoke in Spanish. I starts with I travel a lot in. I travel a lot in my job and. Uh, um, so <coughs> great. Yeah, and you have to choose one of the sentences given. May I? May I? <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, Mikhail think a little bit. Uh, one second. Um, actually, I travel a lot in my job. Lot in my job. And try to choose one of the variants given, especially have already chosen others. So, so Mikhail, have you got any idea? Uh, I, I, I lose uh, the part, uh, this part of uh, text before that, and uh, it's hard for me. OK, uh, so. Um, Maybe uh, Luba, help me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so let's ask. I'd like to ask Mitri. Mitri, have you got any idea? Mitri, your microphone is off. Mitri, so we can't hear you. Can you join us? Um, I hate to be uh, to be unable uh, to communicate. That's it. I have not been able to communicate. That's a good variant. Anastasia, do you agree with Dimitri? Yes, sure. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, Mikhail, will you be so kind to continue, please? I'm 30. Okay. Um, I'm 32 in, <laughs> now, and uh, I think if you don't learn uh, uh, language when you are a child uh, or uh, go and live um, in the country, uh, uh, you. We will be able to speak uh, it well. It well, Guillermo from Madrid. So there is a Spanish person. Okay, so we've got uh, three texts. We have put all the sentences in 
right places. Uh, so, uh, do you, have you ever had such an experience? If you talk about foreign language, so as, as far as I got, Anastasia has hasn't got such a problem. Like uh, starting to learn uh, the English language for ten time, uh, like at least ten times, and trying different ways and so on. What about others? Um, what about you? Me? Have you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, is it your case? Have you uh, tried uh, learning English at least ten times using different ways, uh, private classes, uh, different yes. courses, and so on? Yes, I have. <laughs> Sometimes I return to English, and after um, some interruption, I forget um, a lot, and yeah. I must learn it again. Maybe it's it's my wrong that I don't do it so. Systematic, systematic. I don't know. Systematically, yeah, regular. You can say on regular. Mm -hmm. We got an interesting expression. I don't know. One at one of our classes on a regular basis. On a regular basis. Yes. That's it. But with, with the help of Anlingua, I have learned a lot. Really, it works really good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice to hear that. Okay. Uh, so and uh, Althea, what about you? Have you ever uh, well, it, is it your story? Is it uh, the same uh, story? Mm, so, have you started learning English for several times, for many times? Then you stopped. Uh, there was a kind of interruption, a pause in the learning process, and then you returned. So, is it about you, Althea? No, um, I learn English by myself, and uh, very often I uh, meet here in our places uh, foreigners. Foreigners. Yeah, foreigners. And I'll try to speak with them. Uh, sometimes I can, sometimes I cannot. But still, you never give up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, and just, just now, I think it's the uh, right way in, in Amilingo to learn English. I think so. Okay, that's good. Thank you. That's very nice. Uh, well, let's continue. So there was the first part of our class. Uh, so it was uh, reading. The first uh, part will be listening. So we're going, we're, going, we're going to hear a psychologist talking about how to succeed at learning to do something new. But before we listen to the record, we have to match these phrasal verbs with their meanings. So the first one, uh, let's read it out. Um, um, so Valentina, will you be so kind to read the first one? I want second part listening and the first sentence. Mm. I guess. Uh, what, uh, what sentence? Okay. Uh, uh, where is listening? Uh, listen the second page. You scroll, scroll down and you find listening part. And we've got three sentences. The first sentence starts with I want. So we'll read it out first. Uh, okay. I want to think. Just read it out a little bit more loudly, please. I want to. Uh, you're going to hear. Uh, no, 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 number one. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to take up uh, scuba diving. Diving. Okay. That is. Where is scuba diving? Who can explain? Um, Anastasia, will you explain it, please? Oh, uh, okay. It's oh, something like swim in deep, <laughs> deeply. Yeah, swim in deeply. Swim underwater. Under the water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With the special equipment for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so the first one, I want to take scuba diving. Valentina, will you uh, find from uh, from three variants given below, stop, abandon, continue, or start something new? So which one of these three uh, words and word combination can be replaced, uh, can replace take up? So I want to take up scuba diving. I uh, think uh, it's learned. C, start something new. Start something new. So that's right. Okay. Thank you. Valentina, okay, number two. Uh, Alexa Alexander. I'm going to give up learning Japanese. It's too difficult. It's too difficult. Really? I learn in Japanese. Uh, Alexander, I learn Japanese. Uh, you are learning Japanese. No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, you learn Japanese. I am. I'm not learning. Oh, Japanese. 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 Japanese
<laughs> okay, uh, I learned in Japanese. Uh, so, Alexander, are you learning Japanese now? No. You're not? Okay, so you're not going to give up. But anyway, let's choose the word that would um, replace give up. I guess it's easy. As easy as pie. So, Alexander, what will be the word? Word? Yeah, what, uh, which word uh, would you choose? So can, continue, stop, abandon, start something you have already chosen. Start, uh, take up, so there was stop something you. What about give up? Continue or stop or abandon? Stop. Stop. There is give up means to stop. So I'm going to stop learning Japanese. It's too difficult. Okay. Um, so we've got a new student, uh, Sergey. Hello to you. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen you, or maybe I have. I don't remember. Is it the first time you are here at our class? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. Well, maybe a, a person has just mm, pressed their own. We can see button. clearly. Very, very clearly. It's the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time. We can see that. Well, anyway, so it's. it's Sergey will uh, come back and we'll uh, continue our conversation with him. So um, this the third sentence. Uh, Luba, will you read it out, please? Mm -hmm. So uh, be realistic about that you choose. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Ah, the third, the third. Oh, the third. Okay, yes. I like. Uh, if I like this course, I'll carry on text next year. I'll carry next on. Year. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. So we've got uh, three sentences. We have replaced uh, them with other words, uh, which has have the same uh, meaning. Now we're gonna listen to a record. So uh, first, read these seven tips, and then we'll listen to the program. You have to tick the five things that psychologist says. We've got seven, but your task is to tick only five. First, let's look through them. Let's read them. Anastasia, will be uh, will you read the first one, please? Be re realistic about what you choose. That's it. Actually, there's something Dmitri said. Uh, Dmitri is not anymore here. Okay. Uh, Dmitri uh, said us that he, he never uh, starts doing uh, something that he he thinks that he, he he won't be able to succeed. So be realistic about what you choose. Uh, number two, um, Alexander. Always pick up new activity at the beginning of the year. Nice piece of advice, I guess. Uh, number three, Valentina. Valentina? Uh, yes. Uh, don't think you'll be bad at all sports just because you're not good at one. That's good, thank you. Number four, maybe. you? Number four. One second. Uh, Come on. Uh, don't give up uh, on any activity before you are given uh, it, an, it a good chance. Okay, number five, I'll see If you are learning something new, don't think you are going to become the best in the world at it. Hmm, okay, good. Uh, number six, Luba. Always take up a new activity with a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, a second, I, I, I have lost it now myself. Where's number five? No, number six. Number yeah. six. Okay, and the last one, number seven, Alexander. Uh, learning something new is a good way of meeting people. That's it. Okay, we'll discuss all the points, maybe some of them, but now we will listen to the record, to some pieces of advice, and your task will be to tick only five. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so um, are you ready? Let's get started. 3.13 Hello and welcome to this week's edition of All About You. Today's program is about taking up new activities and how to succeed at them. With us is psychologist Dr. Maggie Pryor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Pryor, what tips can you give our listeners who are thinking of learning to do something new? Well, first of all, I would say choose wisely. On the one hand, don't choose something completely unrealistic. Mm -hmm. For example, don't decide to take up sailing if you can't swim, <laughs> or parachute jumping if you're afraid of heights. But, on the other hand, don't generalize and think that just because you aren't very good at one sport, mm -hmm. you won't be able to do any sports at all. 
I mean, just because you were bad at gymnastics at school doesn't mean that you might not love playing tennis. So think positive. Definitely. And never think you'll be bad at something before you've even tried it. Okay, so let's imagine I've started to learn to play tennis and I'm finding it very hard work. Well, first, don't give up too quickly. Carry on for at least a few months. It often takes time to begin to enjoy learning something new. Another thing that can help if you're having problems learning something is to give it a break and then try again, perhaps a month or two later. But what if I carry on and I find I really, really don't have a talent for tennis? I think the important thing is not to be too ambitious. I mean, if you've never done much sport and you decide to learn to play tennis, don't expect to become the next Wimbledon champion. Just aim to enjoy what you're doing, not to be the best in the world at it. But if, even after all this, I still feel I'm not getting anywhere? Well, sometimes you do have to accept it and say, OK, this really isn't my thing, and you need to give it up. But why not try something else? There are lots of other things you can learn to do. But remember that if you take up an activity that you're really interested in, yeah. even if you aren't very good at it, you'll make new friends because you'll be meeting other people who have similar interests to you. So it might be good for my love life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dr. Maggie Pryor, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, was it clear enough to understand? Yeah, quite clear. Okay, good. So let's get started from the very beginning. I will ask uh, a person if the number that or that, one, two, or three, or others, uh, has been mentioned as a piece of advice and you will tell me yes or no. So number one, the first piece of advice, be realistic about what you choose. Uh, so uh, has it been mentioned by a psychologist uh, out here? Yes. Yes, it has. Yes. Has it been mentioned? Yes, it has. Okay, good. Yeah, there is a uh, like Grace with you. Good. Uh, number two, uh, always take up in your activity at the beginning of the year. Uh, Alexander, has it, this piece of advice been mentioned by a psychologist or not? I haven't heard this. I haven't heard it, so that means that it hasn't been mentioned or you just do not listen carefully. So, what's your uh, answer? Yes or no? It has been I, mentioned or it I hasn't? Don't know. You don't know? There isn't such a variant, this either yes, it has been mentioned, or no, it hasn't been mentioned. You have to decide, come on. It hasn't been. Hasn't been mentioned, okay. Who disagrees, maybe, or agrees? I agree, it yeah. hasn't been mentioned. Okay, so it hasn't been mentioned, good. I guess others agree, too. Good, number three, uh, don't think you'll be bad at all sports just because you are not good at one. Hasn't been mentioned or not, Mikhail? Could you repeat? Uh, yep. Uh, so, number three, um, just a second, let me read it out once again. Uh, don't think you'll be bad at all sports just because you are not good at one. Have these pieces of been mentioned by psychologists or not? Is it mentioned in a dialect in the interview? Or not? I think uh, she, she uh, say uh, you. Um, uh, you uh, c cannot be a uh, ghost or... Um, well, 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 it's another, it's another uh, thing. Well, we're not talking about, we're not talking about sports and... Uh, uh -huh. just, just say if it has been mentioned or it hasn't mentioned in the, in the interview, in the program. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, who remembers? Um, uh, Luba, what would you say? Yes, it has been mentioned. It has been mentioned, sure, she has been talking. Well, she told us a little bit about sports. The number four, don't give up. That's right. So don't give up at an, acti at an activity before you've given it a good chance. Anastasia? Uh, uh, number uh, four, yeah? Yep, yeah, that's right. Yes, it has been mentioned. It has been mentioned. Good. Five, you're learning something you don't think you're going to become the best in the world in it. Or that's it. Valentina, hasn't been mentioned or not? Uh, yes, it has been mentioned. As you mentioned, that's okay. Uh, six, always take up a new activity with a friend. Hasn't been mentioned or not. Um, oh, um, Alexander. Um, I think no. 
it wasn't mentioned. It hasn't been mentioned. I'm asking you the things that hasn't been mentioned. <laughs> haven't been mentioned. Okay. Uh, so maybe it has been. Who who would say that it has been mentioned? No one. Okay. So good for you. And uh, uh, the last one, number seven. Learning something new is a good way of meeting people. Althea. Has yes. It I yeah. think I uh, heard. You've heard it. Yeah. Okay, good. That's right, because it has been mentioned, uh, so that's why you heard it. Good. So uh, these points, these pieces of advice, which one do you think is the best one for you, in your opinion, in your personal opinion, um, Anastasia? I think the third. The third one. Don't think you'll be a bad adult person because you are not good at one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Will you just give a small comment on it? Why do you think it's the best piece of advice? Um. I think that if you failed at, for example, athletics, it does uh, it doesn't mean that you are not a runner. For example, maybe you have a talent to it. You shouldn't give up and try uh, again yeah. and again. That's right. And you will succeed. Sorry. And then you will succeed in it. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Good. Uh, Luba, what's about what about you? Uh, in your opinion, what is the best piece of advice given by a psychologist? Mm. I will choose number seven. I think it's the best one. Number seven. Mm -hmm. um, learn learn something new is a good way of meeting people. Why do you think so? Um, so it's. Um, why, do you, really why do you choose it as the best one? Sorry? Uh, I, I mean, why do you choose it as the best piece of advice given? Um, uh, for me, it would. It would uh, cheers. Cheer up me, for example, <laughs> if I heard it, because I, I like uh, communicate with new people. I think it's really good way. Okay. Uh, I, I, yeah. And you will not think if you better or not in something. Anyway, you. Communicate. Yeah, the reason is right. It's a win-win situation. Sorry. It's a win-win situation. Win-win. Yeah, win-win situation means that you you anyway you win. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt that uh, in some activity you, you win because you meet new people. And actually, I do agree with you here. I also choose number seven as the best piece of advice because I also like meeting new people. And uh, that's really hilarious and awesome to meet, meet some, somebody new. Uh, so, and even if I stop doing some activity uh, for some time, I keep in touch with people I met. So, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I would ask also Alexander. So, in your opinion, uh, what's uh, the best piece of advice given, Alexander? The advice number two. Number two. I'll just take out. Oh, no, no, sorry, number three. Number three. Uh huh. So the, the same Anastasia has chosen, yeah? About uh, uh, so not giving up, for not thinking that you are bad at all sports just because you are not good at one. Okay. Why do you choose this one as the best? Uh, because I, I'm. I agree more <laughs> with this. Okay. Maybe you have experienced uh, something of the kind. Um, I don't know. I just think that it's right. It's right. It's the best uh, piece of advice given. Okay. Thank you. Good. Let's go further. Uh, next part is speaking. We'll not uh, dedicate much time to it, but still we have some time more. So uh, speaking. Uh, now you will ask questions to each other. You would ask uh, some questions. Can you and choose anything you wish from the circle given? Ski, cook, sell, swim, and so on and so forth. If the person says, yes, I can, or no, I cannot, uh, you would um, you will ask uh, more questions like, how well? Where did you learn it? Uh, how did you learn? Did you find it easy or difficult? Or if the person says, no, I cannot, so I, no, I can't, I can't, would you like it to be able to? Why not? Or why? Is this skin clear? Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. now let's get started. So the first question, uh, so I will choose the person. And the person will ask a question to anyone, okay? So Althea, you, you will be the first one. Ask the first question to anyone you wish. Uh, just a moment. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. There's number three, uh, acti activity speaking. Uh, so you say, you say the name, yeah, and then you ask the question. Mikhail? 
Mikhail, are you with us? No, no, I have uh, trouble with internet. But he. I, mean, I don't <laughs> care. Uh, I didn't hear what you what you say before. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Choose another person. Mikhail is refusing to answer. <laughs> uh, once more. Uh, uh, Luba. Mm -hmm. Uh, just a moment. Just a moment. Uh, can you uh, swim? No, I cannot. <laughs> I can do it very, very good. Okay, <laughs> and now more questions. Okay, just at once you say, would you like, you can see some other questions. Uh, so the, when a person say yes, I can, or no, I can't, or you can ask more questions, given in the scheme. Uh, would you like to be able to... Uh, well, you would like to be able to, that will be enough. Um, I think, no, I wouldn't, because I'm a little bit afraid of water. Mm, okay, don't you want to um, overcome this kind of fear? Yes, I, I would like. So too. Because I, I think it's, right. it, it's necessary and it's interesting at, to to come over your fears. That's it. So you fight you with them. Give it a try. Yes, then I would try. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's it. Good. Uh, thank you, Alfia. Now it's your turn, so ask any question. Mm -hmm. So, um, Anastasia, uh, do you speak a foreign language? Mm, Franco speaking. Uh, Franco speaking, I has been learning French for oh. maybe three years, but <laughs> I don't know it very well. But I keep trying to. Find, to find something new for me in this language and to learn it. Maybe you will learn it with Sitazar, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I wanted to attend his class maybe today, yeah? Actually, no, actually, uh, my first class of French will take place on Sunday, so you're welcome. Everyone, okay, everyone okay. wants to, uh, to learn a little French, so you're welcome my class on Sunday. Welcome. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so, um, one more question, uh, Ruba. Will you ask another question to Anastasia uh, from the scheme given below? So, Anastasia has given m m enough of information, but still, some one more question about, for example, the last one from the scheme given. Uh, Anastasia, yes, can you drive? No, 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 no. I mean the same ah, question about French. Ah, the same about French. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just here, okay. yes, I can. How well? Where? When did you learn? How did you learn? Did you find it easier, difficult? This, uh, as for me, I would ask the last one. Uh, so Anastasia, do you find uh, it is a, an interesting one language? Is it difficult to learn it? Mm, I think that languages for me is not really difficult to learn. So I think I wouldn't have a problem in learning French in the future. Which language is more difficult for you, English or French? Oh, French. <laughs> Because of pronunciation, I think. Mm -hmm. This R <laughs> is... <laughs> as, as far as I can heard, you can pronounce it pretty well. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Uh, Anastasia, now your question to any of the students. Okay. Uh, Alfia, uh, can you create a website? Uh, no. No, I can't. <laughs> Would you like to be able to? Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Why would you like to be able to do that? What's interesting about it for you? What is the most interesting thing about being able to create a website? Uh, Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> say, say something. Say, well, I think it's um, and you choose something. Uh, I don't interesting uh, in this. Uh, uh, I am not interested in. Yes, I am not interested in websites. In websites, but still, you'd like to be able to create one, just to try what it is, yeah. 
you would like to to try to try it if I got correctly from what uh, you said. I I I I'm going to try. I will try with my friends. Okay, you'd like to try it with your friends. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, well, Althea has already asked the question, so I, I would ask Valentina to ask a question. Valentina, will you be so kind to ask a question to any of the students? Is try to ask question to those who has who hasn't uh, answered yet. Okay. Okay. So, please, uh, Alexander, uh, can you write? Can you what? Can, can you write? Right, uh, write a horse? Yes. Can you ride a horse? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I can't. Um, what do you like to be able to do? It? Yes, I would like to be able to. Okay. And uh, why ha haven't you tried uh, to do that yet? Tried? Why haven't uh, you tried to do that yet? Uh, Mm. I often, I always uh, wanted to try, but but it, what is the obstacle? But it wasn't happened. But, but it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Mm, doesn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, you just have to choose to decide the day. So, for example, today, what day is it today? Thursday. It's Thursday today. Okay. So, uh, Alexander, this Saturday, you will yes. go. You'll find a horse and you'll learn to ride a horse. Okay? Yeah, to uh -huh. do something, to do something, to make something realize, we have just to choose thing three today. Uh, well, I know uh, when, with whom, where, just to make it. Because if we postpone it all the time, we'll never do that. No. So, this Saturday, Alexander will learn to ride a horse, and next class, he will share his impressions. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's, that's the deal. Uh, good, Alexander. Your question. Your question uh, to anyone. Well, I guess everyone has not 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 answered the question, but still everyone has talked talked a little bit. So, Alexander, your question to anyone you wish. Uh, who can I ask? You, you can ask anyone. Well, as you wish, from students. Uh, You've got a good choice there. Mikhail, are you here? Mikhail, are you here? We still having yes. some problems. So, your question yeah. to you. Um, okay. Uh, can you dance salsa? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, would you like to be able to? I think uh, I prefer to dance uh, maybe tango. Prefer, not prefer, prefer. Prefer to dance tango. Tango, oh, such a passion to dance. Uh, why? why tango? Uh, it's uh, more um, interesting. Mm. It's uh, like a, a good picture. Sorry. <laughs> and, um, and when I see tango, it's a nice view. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. you like it? It's, it gets you inspired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. And we'll end your question to anyone from students. Okay. Come on. Okay, like, um, about a um, musical instrument. Okay? Sorry? About the mu musical instrument. Musical <laughs> instrument, why not? Uh, okay. Uh, Alfia. Uh, or something. Alfia. Uh, yeah. can, um, can you play um, uh, any uh, musical instrument? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, the instrument? <laughs> it's a guitar. Great. How well you play on it or it? I don't know. How, play, how, how well do you play the guitar? It just without a preposition. Mm -hmm. How well you play it? Uh, how well? Yeah. Uh, I think very well. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, so, so how how long do uh, you, you started to play? Uh, it's about. Uh, Five, six years. Five, six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, you owe us a little concert, okay? <laughs> At one of our classes, we'll organize a kind of a concert. Who else plays any musical instruments? Or maybe. Yeah. Okay, great, Anastasia. Who else? Any, anyone else? Anastasia, what instrument do you play? Uh, piano. Piano? Yeah, Have you got a piano uh, at home? Yeah, right. Left. Okay, so only a piece of music on piano, um, guitar, uh, we'll sing, 
uh, we'll sing, we'll dance, we'll, uh, we'll do different stuff. You, you have to organize a kind of a party online. Party. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So uh, thank you guys for uh, your sharing uh, this uh, um, uh, your information actually about yourself, what you can do, what you couldn't do. And to crown it all, let's uh, read uh, the three idioms I prepared for you, the last part. So scroll down the Word document and you'll find three idioms. So the first one, actually a good, a very good one, uh, I guess, a, like a resume phrase uh, to our class tonight. Uh, so, um, Lua, will you read it out, please? The first idiom. Well, not really an idiom, kind of an expression, I would say. Mm -hmm. I won't give up without a fight. I won't give up without a fight. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's clear, no comment. Just uh, uh, follow the piece of advice and do all your best to achieve your dream and go. Number two, um, uh, Nastasia. Oh, <clears throat> failure is, n is not falling down but refusing to get up. Yeah, actually people sometimes try to do something but then they are too tired and exhausted and they say no, that's too much, I'm fed up. They find it annoying and uh, just exhausting. Yeah. And they exactly. just give up. Sorry? And they just give up, it's very often, I think. Yeah, and that's pity. So you shouldn't uh, um, give up even after several failures. And the last one, number three, Valentina, will you be so kind to read it out, please? Mm -hmm. Very nice, I like it. A cat in love stretch no more. That's it. So, uh, catching mice, uh, sorry, catting gloves catches no mice. Uh, and we've got a, kind of a similar, actually, in any language, I guess, there are similar proverbs or sayings. So, to do something, to achieve your dream, you should do something for it. So, for example, Alexander will have to Google, I don't know, some places where he would be able to drive, uh, not to drive a bike, but to ride a horse and uh, um, he will reserve a place somewhere and on Saturday he'll wake up early and go to the place and learn to ride a horse. Yeah? Alexander? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's good. So guys, uh, thanks again for coming at my class. I hope you learned something new today. Uh, so if you have some dreams and goals, please do your best to achieve them because no one will do that instead of you. And don't forget that the cutting glass catches no mice. Well, that's for today. Thank you for your coming, and see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 And join my classes on French. <laughs> of course. <laughs>